Hi and welcome back to Lavender Cocoa Kitchen. Well, today I'm making drinks and because of that I've asked my son Rohan to come and help me. Yeah. Hi, welcome Rohan. <laughs> and I asked him because he loves making drinks and he actually brews his own kombucha, yeah. which is really delicious. So I thought he could help me out with some drinks based on whiskey which is something he doesn't mind a little bit of whiskey, do you? <laughs> now and then. And these are actually a good drinks you could use for your Christmas celebrations or New Year's, or they're just great party drinks or if you want to treat yourself. And like I said, they're popular drinks based on whiskey. So we're going to make Baileys and we're going to make a whiskey sour. Yeah. And these, as you might know, are usually made with dairy and eggs, like egg white for the whiskey sour or dairy for the Baileys. So I'm going to show you how we can do a vegan version of these drinks so that you can keep everything vegan or if you have vegan friends you will know what to give them for their Christmas drink. So we'll start with the Baileys, which I mean I like the flavour of Baileys because it's a bit like iced coffee, which I like. So we're going to start with coconut cream. So coconut cream from the can, but we've just got some that we've had in the fridge. One cup of coconut cream. That should be about a cup, or if it's not, we can add more. So now we'll use our lovely coconut syrup. So coconut syrup is a low GI sugar. It's a good form of sugar and it's got a nice rich flavour. So we'll use a tablespoon. You could use maple syrup, but coconut syrup has a richer taste. So now we're going to put some vanilla, just a teaspoon. teaspoon. And best to use vanilla extract or paste because it has a better flavour. We're going to use espresso powder. So put a, a tablespoon of espresso. Our favourite ingredient, yeah. <laughs> which Ryan also uses to make a delicious Christmas pudding. We made one last year, didn't we? For, oh, for yeah. YouTube. <laughs> oh, yeah. So if you want to check out his Christmas pudding recipe, it's up on YouTube. And he takes after his grandpa and makes a delicious Christmas pudding. Yeah. So we'll use a quarter cup of whiskey. Yeah, a little over the ordinary whiskey. So now we all, all we have to do is blend it in the blender. Tell shaker if you don't have a blender, but it's easy if you have a blender. Um, just going to put that in the freezer to chill while we make the whiskey sour. So now we'll make the whiskey sour. And you said that you like the whiskey sour we made the other day. <laughs> so can you remember how to make it? No. All right, I'll guide you. Yeah. So of course we're gonna put whiskey in it. Yeah. So we'll put about two and a half tablespoons. So one, that's one tablespoon, two and a half. Now we're going to use lemon juice. So if you can squeeze some lemon juice. So in whiskey sour, you could normally put in some bitters, but if you don't have bitters, as a substitute, you could use some grated lemon zest or even orange zest if you like. So we're going to grate about a teaspoon of lemon zest. Put our lemon zest in there. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. So I'm not sure how much is there. That's one. Oh yeah, that's just about exactly two. Now we need a tablespoon of maple syrup just to sweeten it a little. And it's probably best to use maple syrup for this because it has a lighter colour. If you use something like coconut syrup, it may darken the colour too much. We have our magic ingredient. Do you know what this is? Yeah. What is it? 
Aquafaba. <laughs> yeah, which is which is liquid from a can of chickpeas. And this is our replacement for egg whites. So as for our nose, it whips up in the same way as an egg white. So if you're vegan, you obviously use this instead of egg whites. So we're going to use one and a half tablespoons. Yeah, that's everything. Now we just need to blend it or you could use a cocktail shaker and shake it really well. So there we have our whiskey sour. And as you see, it looks all white right now, but as it sits, it separates. So the white foamy layer will be on the top and the darker whiskey layer will be underneath. So you can just put it in the freezer for a little while just to chill it so it's nice and cool to drink. And then we're going to pour them into the glasses and maybe you can taste them. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> so our drinks have been chilling. I've just got the Baileys here. I'm just going to put it into a glass. This would serve one to two people depending on how much you want. But it looks like it'll just go into one glass. If you want to, um, you know, make more, you can always double or triple the recipe. So something Rowan said would be good is to put some whipped coconut cream on the top. To top it off, you could drizzle in a little of the coconut syrup. Ron's going to show you the whiskey sour, and as you can see, it's separated into two layers. So we have the cream on the top and the whiskey on the bottom. Garnish that with a cherry or a slice of lemon or orange. And, oh, you had another good idea for the Baileys, to make it into a milkshake. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Well, you can put whiskey ice cream in it to make it more thick, like a thick shake. Yeah. It would be more like an iced coffee. Mmm, that sounds delicious. And as you know, I have made some whiskey ice cream. Yeah. So you could check out my recipe. So I think that's a great idea and something I would probably want to try. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ron, would you like to taste? Oh, yeah. It's really nice. It's very zesty, very zingy. Oh, so it's got that lemon. Or tangy, yeah. Lemon tang, is it? Yeah. yeah. But it's not too alcoholic. When you drink oh. whiskey straight, it's very yeah. powerful. Yeah, yeah, it is. It but is. you can take more sips of this, more like a drink. Yeah. Oh, good. So you'd recommend that for a Christmas party? Yeah, yeah? definitely. Yeah. yeah. So would you like to taste the Baileys? Oh, yeah. Let's have a little sip of that. Yeah, it tastes really nice. What does it remind you of? <laughs> uh, uh, like an iced coffee. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit, yeah. a, a, a little bit less cold, more like a drink. Mm. But you can really get the cream in it. It's a lot more smoother yeah. in taste. Yeah, yeah. And of course, we didn't use any dairy in that. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to get like a runny nose or anything in that. Yeah, day. that's true. So, if you want anything vegan for your Christmas party, Try these. <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.